welcome back. <laughs> All right, so in my last video, we were talking about how to tell time to the hour. Okay, so now we're gonna kinda switch gears a little bit and talk about how do we turn an analog clock, one with the face, into a digital clock? How do we write the time to the hour in here? And then we're gonna even take it a step further and talk about half past the hour, which is gonna be really fun. Okay, so if we go back to our clock that we had earlier, we were talking about how this is the face, we have the hour, hand, and the minute hand. Okay. So for example, this hour hand is pointing towards the one, so I know it's one something, right? Because the hour always goes first. And then we know the minute hand is pointing up to 12, which means oh, we say o'clock, okay? Well, what we do when we're trying to turn time into a digital clock is we take the hour first, so I'm gonna write a one right here because my clock is showing one. And since it's o'clock, we're gonna start at zero, zero. Now let me tell you what that means. Each one of these marks is kind of like nickels and we count by fives. So it'll be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, but we don't usually write 60 when we write it because we say o'clock and o'clock means zero zero. So o'clock means o o zero zero. So let me write the numbers on here and I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I'm back and what I did was I kind of wrote out my counting by five so it would be easier to see. So zero, which is where we would start, five, 10, 15, 20, all the way back around until we get to zero, zero. It goes 55, zero, zero. <laughs> okay, so let's erase this and let's do some practice again. So now I'm gonna move my hour hand to the five. Well, what time is it? What do you think? The hour hand is pointing to the five, the minute hand is pointing to the zero, zero. So that would mean it would be five o'clock. And we would write it in a digital clock like this. Sometimes it would just be five. Sometimes it might be o oh, five. Because remember, tens, ones, and then o'clock. Oh, so o, oh, oh, five o'clock. Now we're going to take it a step farther. We're going to talk about half past. So what's gonna happen now is instead of my minute hand pointing at the 12, the minute hand is gonna actually come down and point to the six. Now this is gonna mean something very different than what it meant when it was pointing at the 12. Okay. Whenever the minute hand is pointing at the six, we say half past. Okay, so five, six, seven, my minute hand is covering up the six. We say half past because if we were to split the clock in half or split it down the middle, it would show a half. So if it's at the six, it would be exactly half. Okay, so half past means we are past the hour, half past the hour. So remember, to make an hour, the minute hand has to go all the way around, okay? When half past hour, the hand moves the hour hand is gonna move differently, okay? So if my minute hand is here, my hour hand is no longer gonna be pointing directly at a number. Instead, it's gonna be kind of pointing in the middle. So just like this was in the middle of the whole clock, the hour hand is gonna be in the middle of the two numbers. So this time reading would be four, because we haven't quite got to the five yet. So we can't go up, we have to go backwards. So it'd be four, and then this thing. So let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this would be four, 30. Okay, you're gonna watch your brain pop and practice this some more. All right, have fun, bye-bye.